Well, as Israel continues to fight back against Hamas terrorists, there are so many questions. Many people don't even know what's going on, really. Many people don't understand the region, why there is fighting. It becomes so overwhelming, people don't know what to think because they really don't understand what's going on. But one thing's for sure, what Hamas did to innocent men, women, and children is barbaric. They are terrorists. I want to bring in someone who can help us understand what is happening. He knows the region very well. Oz. Laniado, he is with, stand with us. You're the executive director for the Southwest region. Uh, thank you so much for being here. So let's clarify something. Hamas is a terrorist organization. What they did to innocent men, women, and children is barbaric. What is their end goal? Was their end goal just that day? The end goal is the destructions of Israel, the destructions of the Jewish people. This is a Nazi organization. We have to understand. What Hamad di did on October 7th, 2023, it's not just against Israelis or Jews. This is against humanity. Mm -hmm. We must understand Hamas is equal to ISIS and there is no difference between them. They butchered kids, elderly, women, raped. This is something that unheard of. Uh, the last time that so many Jews were murdered, civilian Jews, in one day was in the Holocaust. Right, and there were Americans there as well. As I said, it's against humanity. Right. Uh, you know, people need to understand that it's, Israel today is in the front of protecting the Western world, we can say. And if we're not gonna do something, they will come here. Well, it's believed that many of them are already here. Um, what is your take on, you know, 24 hours after this horrible massacre happens, you see protests all over in California, you see protests in New York, the Free Palestine Movement, and you hear them chanting, from the river to the sea. What do they want? As I said, they want the destruction. A lot of people in, in these protests really don't understand what are, they what are doing. This is not about Israel. This is not. This is about supporting a, gen, a genocide a organization with a genocide agenda. Can we educate people, uh, Oz? While I have you here, so um, the people in the Free Palestine movement, a lot of them saying that Israel is an apartheid state. They say that uh, the Gaza is an open air prison. Uh, but I just want to educate people. In 2005, Israel gave them this land. They gave them this land. They said, go ahead, you can have this land. They pulled Israelis out of their homes. The Israeli army, look it up, there's images. They're literally carrying people out of their homes. They said, you, we want peace. We want peace, we're gonna give you this land. They gave them the land, they pulled people out of their homes. What did they get in return? Well, first of all, our tax dollars, US tax dollars, tax dollars all over the world. There was so much money that went into this region. By now, they could have been uh, the cutter. Okay, beautiful, because they're beachfront area. They, I mean, they could have made this a beautiful area, right? But instead, they didn't build schools, they didn't um, build infrastructure for their communities, they built tunnels, and they've, you know, launched rockets into is Israel nonstop and terrorism. Am I right? Is this what happened? I think people should understand. This is exactly what's happened. In 2005, Israel disengaged from Gaza. Yeah. Gaza had the potential to be the Singapore of the Middle East. Singapore, okay, yes. Instead of that, all of the money that they get, the, the billions of dollars so far, mm -hmm. went to infrastructures of terror. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking care of their kids, hospitals, education, they just filled their people with terror, with, with, with hate. And, and it, again, back to the open air prison, there's not an, it's not an open air prison because uh, uh, Palestinians go, there's a border crossing they go in and out on a daily basis. So imagine California bordering Mexico. There's a border crossing in the San Diego area. People come in and out every day. They go to work. That is literally what happens, right? Am I right? You're absolutely I've been there. Right. You're <laughs> absolutely right. And people need to understand there was Israel is not in Gaza. Wasn't in Gaza. In fact, that's all of this horrified event happens after Israel actually opened the borders for more and more uh, people from Gaza to come and work in Israel. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got in return. 
So where do we go from here? Because as days and days go by, um, you're starting to see um, posts online, social image, um, images, and people are saying, no, Hamas didn't do X, Y, Z to babies. No, this didn't happen. Actually, Israel did this. And, you know, there's a word in that region. It's called Pollywood. Explain that. They, they don't let the facts to, to change their mind, to confuse them. So it's like a Hollywood, like they, 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 they make it look like... Uh, they will take pictures from different regions, from different wars, from the past, and just use them. They are experts with that, they're experts with that propaganda, mm -hmm. uh, full of lies. Look, they don't have a problem to murder and butcher kids, elders, women, so why would they have a problem to, to do that? Uh, I want to be clear. Today, every person in the world mm -hmm needs to stand by Israel. Every person with a good conscience needs to stand by Israel. This is not against Jews. This is not against Israelis. This is against humanity. I, I would say one thing. The Jewish community mm -hmm. and our allies, and I think the people in the world, the American people, are more united today than ever. Yesterday I participated in uh, over 4,000 people um, gathering, mm -hmm. which was beautiful. The spirit was there, Jews and non-Jews. It was just beautiful, the, the solidarity. Mm -hmm. and, and when we're talking about Pollywood, in a few weeks, two, three weeks, when they will try to, to change the narrative. the narrative. It's already happening, so we just have to be careful. Absolutely. And, and really, you know, trust your sources. Oz, I got to thank you. Stand with, stand with us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much, Stella. Of course. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.